is Hez preparing to um, round up the bulls in his own time. Behaving yourself, Fern? Hi, I'm Penny. I live in Tokoroa, New Zealand with my husband and three kids and a part of the dairy industry. I grew up in Upper Hutt and found childhood really hard. I had a parent who was emotionally abusive to the other parent and I didn't react well as a child, it made me feel insecure, resentful, and alone. Growing up, a few things happened and I realized I wasn't happy. I had a couple of jobs after schooling and went and started a tertiary education when I was 21, which is quite old. <clears throat> I had a couple of good jobs, but remember thinking I was just existing not living and certainly not happy. I gave my life to Jesus when I was about 15 and I got baptised twice just to make sure I'd done it properly. I went to a church youth group but uh, just always felt an outsider. <clears throat> I read the Bible and heard a good Bible teacher called Derek Prince and for the first time I got an inkling of what Jesus was about so I grabbed hold of any of his teaching that I could get. When I was about 20 I was sitting in a church home group feeling pretty flat just an accumulation of 20 years of rubbish and I had a picture What it was, was a picture of Jesus' knees as he was sitting, and I was sitting at his feet, leaning on his knees and just watching everyone. And at that moment, I got it. All I can say is that I got a gut knowledge of who the Lord is and who we are in the Lord. And from that moment, it changed my life. I still had and have many challenges and things not going my way, but I know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm not alone and that if I want an intimate relationship with him, I need to find out as much as I can of what he said in the Bible. What relates to me, the people around me, and to the rest of the world as we get nearer to him coming back to physically reign from earth. Ask, seek and knock and the door will be opened for you. The more you humble yourself and press on in to find out more, the more we will know about him. I can honestly say now that I'm happy with my family, my church and my place in the world. I especially love evangelism. I think the key is asking the Lord what he thinks of particular people, then asking them how their week is going and basically just building up a relationship before you introduce the Lord to them. That's it. I think with any gifting, you've just got to make yourself available and you can ask the Lord to um, what he wants you to do and for me I really um, love 
just going into town and um, asking the Lord to be at the right place at the right time. And it's like you don't have to do anything. You just have to stand there and then people will start talking to you. And every time I've done it, somebody has started talking to me within two minutes. And I think, yep, this is it. This is a divine um, kind of introduction. And then you just listen to them and go from there.